Hello everyone. The paper is for the development of the creative and innovative thinking through studying the design of the art of drafting metal ornaments to emphasize the Arab culture identity in the Arabian Gulf states. Dr. Naveen Abdel Ghaffar, Faculty of Specific Education, Alexandria University in Egypt. The interest to study the innovative and creative thinking has started since Guilford announced it to the American Society of Psychology introducing his model about the human mental structure. That was the launch of different studies. The individuals are having the power of creativity play important role to develop their communities. Therefore, the objective of art education is developing innovative and creative skills. The innovation is digesting imagination and reproducing process of new forms and shapes have artistic variables according to the artist's creative thinking. The metal work is important art field, enables students gaining several innovative and formative skills. It directs students to innovation as the metal ornament is part of the civilized artistic heritage. This research contributes into the detection of the formative and design characteristics to study the metal ornaments art, to emphasize the culture identity, and to open new fields to practice the experimental thinking and the ability to innovate new contemporary ornaments from heritage. Development of innovative and creative thinking skills. Can it be obtained through analyzing the design of some of metal ornaments in the Arabian Gulf states? And can it be a new entrance to emphasize the culture Arabic identity? The research has two objectives. Number one is focusing on the important part of the Arabic heritage, that is the art of metal ornaments forming in the Gulf states that may create important reference to emphasize the culture heritage. Number two is developing the innovative and creative thinking for the art education students through the experimental thinking and the ability of innovating contemporary ornaments from the Arabic culture to represent new visions, mixing their heritage with imagination. Research methodology. The research follows the descriptive, analytical and experimental method. The innovative and creative thinking aims always to develop and renew through producing new solutions that did not exist before, and it merges complete two ideas or more into new one. The psychologists agree that all normal individuals are having innovative abilities. If we want to develop the creative thinking, we should build a stimulating environment for creativity makes the students feel psychological security. From that, the art education moves towards interest of the knowledge growth and skills for students according to their abilities. This keeps pace with the modern directions in teaching methods. Art education participates in the developing of visual and sensual abilities of students. It was necessary to search in the history of Arabic culture heritage to develop the innovative thinking to benefit in creation of contemporary ornaments. The metal ornaments formation art in the Gulf states is one of the traditional crafts that deserve study. Jewelry can indicate social status or the religious group to which the wearer belongs. The Gulf woman selects the suitable ornaments for every occasion. She used to put on some of simple jewelry from rings, bracelets and earrings. While the Gulf bride can be converted in her wedding day to a movable part of gold, covers hair completely from head to feet. This is the photo of the ornaments for the arms, hands and fingers. This photo represents another pride in Gulf. The Gulf ornaments have varied since the ancient history. It was used as a personal adornment, but some other people have taken them for dogmatic or magical purposes or as a social status symbol. Gulf ornaments have many names in history. For example, we can find what the bride put on her head, Hama, from the wedding costume of the bride. This is photo for collar round neck known as Al Mirtish, it's made of gold. Ornament photo for Al Suruh, it is made of gold. The Gulf woman put it on as an accessory for the head and laid down on both her sides. This is the photo of Al Tulul. It is ornament made of gold and woman put it on her head and lay down on the back of the head. 
The historical sources indicate precious metal industries appeared since the 4000 BC in Majan, in past, and Oman currently. It was important minerals exporting country. Oman had known the ancient civilization through its geographical location in middle of the ancient eastern civilizations. Oman has very distinctive ornaments to traditions. The seafaring and trading history made other cultures affected Omani ornaments. Omani artists contributed in the discovery and creativity in the Arabian Peninsula, particularly Omani traded with India and the Golden Triangle. Ornaments and silverware were famous traditional industry linked to social events, using a lay of some stones and reliefs, the amulets forming as necklaces and pendants, called al tamam which are silver ornaments in square or hexagonal shape, bearing Quran verses and motives, believing in the prevention of envy or evil eye. Omani anklets and bracelets are reminiscent of Indian jewelry. The jewelry's characteristic is traditional and nomadic societies, but with special touches, techniques, and motifs. This is bracelet from Oman, made of silver. These are group of Omani ornaments on an Omani woman. This is group of silver Omani ornaments. The tracing of ornaments in Kuwaiti society reveals some social traditions characterizing the community life. Some traditional Kuwaiti ornaments were characterized by heavy weight up to 1 kilogram. The most used ornament in different occasions for hands, bracelet, is al madaid This photo represents Kuwaiti ornaments. It confirmed the Kuwaiti woman interest in gold jewelry in the past as social habit rooted in the community. Similarly, the widespread traditional ornaments manufacturing in Saudi Arabia, which produces fundamental matters in the price dowry. The ornaments of Saudi women in cities are made of gold inlaid with precious stones, while the Bedouin ornaments mostly are made of silver. This figure for silver bracelet represents the ornaments from Saudi Arabia inlaid with a stone of blue turquoise. The formation of gold jewelry and British stones is all manufacturing industry in Qatar, practiced by the families linked to the industry. The necklace in heritage is called Al Kirdala, has evolved from its first form, the pendant hanging from bands surrounding the neck. This development led to the multiple patterns of formation, composed of one independent row or several interrelated rows, whereas large necklaces cover chest up to waist, called a necklace. Photo for Qatari necklace called a necklace. It is big in size. In Qatar, some bracelets are thin or taking shape of two twin wires called al miltifit and some as shackles surrounded with pyramid shape prominent decorative units or with shape of floral motifs called habbil hail and al swirat this photo for a gold bracelet known with swirat it is inlaid with set of precious stones and it has inscriptions and decorations this is photo for pair of hand bracelet known with name Habbel Hail, the constructive and design basis for metal ornaments in Gulf states. Ornament based on symmetry. Golden Kuwaiti ornaments known with name Kab Kab for putting on top of head. Consisting from one piece only in oval shape with whole axial symmetry for all parts depending on the vertical and the horizontal axis for the design and the repetition of its internal motives regularly. Necklace from the Bahraini heritage known with the name al Miari, length is 40 cm. The artist adopted in his work piece the linear relations between the vertical, horizontal and inclined lines in the squares at both sides. Its symmetrical elements on vertical axis, partial or reflexive symmetry. Ornaments based on the circular shape. Qatari silver necklace known as the Kradle, made of piece of chameleon, hanging from them coins. The coins are Saudi rials. The forming structure of the piece adopted circular shape, 
The researcher found through analyzing the geometric origins of the piece, it depends on the multiplicity of linear systems, circular lines and arches radiated and united in the center. Humani silver ornament called tabla has crescent in its middle, an equilateral triangle and inlaid with red cornelian stone in the center with hanging balls and bells. Artist adopted in the formation the symmetry on the vertical axis and its construction design dependent on the circular shape which is intersection of two successive circles to form crescent shape and it launches a group of repeated and radiated and concentric axes. Ornaments based on the precious stones in lay and metal interchange. Kuwaiti silver necklace, al Mertesh, consists of rows of coral beads pulled on three phases chains. The construction design depended on circular shape and the combination of metal and the coral stone in a recursive way. We can find perpendicular to the vertical and the horizontal axis as axial symmetry. Modern traditional golden necklace from Al Firdan jewelry in Qatar and it is known as Um Hilal. Depending on the reflective symmetry composed of two circles intersection for crescent shape and heading down isosceles triangle in the middle. It reflects richness in form. The trends are based on the direction of visual exchanging on vertical axis. Ornaments based on coins use. Karadla is Saudi necklace composed of silver beads with coins in between representing Maria Theresa dollar and Saudi reals. The geometrical design of the workpiece depended on the axial symmetry from the repetition of sequential and united circles in center and axes come from the circle center attracting eye track from inside to outside. Silver pendant from Oman. The geometrical construction for Omani piece adopted circular shape appeared in the coins depending on lines radiated from the central point. The researcher utilized the structural design fundamentals in Gulf ornaments to create contemporary ornaments designs using high software technology for adding, deleting, juxtaposition, etc. The proposed design number one. Here, the researcher utilized the repeating and overlaying methods for the main unit in the middle of the design made for the ornament piece. The proposed design number two. Here, the researcher used the zoom relations for the same element with adding a color variety between gold and silver. The proposed design number three, the researcher depends on the design on the juxtaposition and contact and entanglement to repeat element or one motive with insisting on the sovereignty of the light blue color in the design. The proposed design number four, the researcher depended on the repetition between the rectangular and semi-triangular geometric shapes with the cascade repetition of using circle in design. The proposed design number five, the design depends on the contact relations in this shape. The proposed design number six, the design depends on the sequence cascading to repeat constant shape. The proposed design number seven, the design depends on the repeating of unit, the motif. The whole design takes coherent pyramid shape. The proposed design number eight, it is also represent the shape of repeating elements in rhythmic way. The proposed design number 9 and the proposed design number 10. The results and recommendations of the research are the following. Number 1. Finding similarity between Gulf state ornaments due to common culture and heritage with detecting formative values which indicated richness and variety in the Gulf ornaments. Number two, creating new ornaments designs are characterized by originality and helping in development of innovative and creative thinking. Number three, the researcher recommended the necessity of experimental researches to be continued to develop creative thinking in art education. Here are the references for this research. Thank you very much.